Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk specifically about how I have done morning work in kindergarten. I will not be teaching kindergarten anymore, but I am currently in like the post planning phase of work and we just have a lot of extra days and I'm like, you know what, I might as well film some videos and answer questions that people have asked me like in depth. So today's video is literally just going to be about like how I did procedures and routines for morning work, what type of morning work we did in kindergarten and kind of like what type of work we do and like the curriculum to expect for a kindergarten age child. First, I want to start off talking about setting the routine and procedures for morning work because I feel like this is like one of the biggest things that needs to be done. Morning work is super helpful to set those routines and procedures, especially if you have students coming in at different times during the day or like they just usually come in during an extended morning time. Like they could start coming in at like let's say 7.30 and then they need to be in school by like 7.45 and so you have 15 minutes of like flexible time where students are coming in and you want it to still be structured so that it's nice, calm, kids know exactly what to expect when they're coming into the classroom. And so the way that I've done it, I've this was my second year teaching kindergarten, so for the past two years I have used like Google Slides throughout the whole day, but especially in the morning it'll have like a little good morning, like this is like the date of today, and then it'll have little pictures, and I also put words there, but it'll say like put your bag away or put your folder away, and it'll have like a picture of the folder since like when they're coming into first grade they usually can't really read yet. And then after that, it'll have like, okay, you need like a pencil, a picture of a pencil. And it'll say, get out your morning workbook and start working quietly. And I always, always, always have calm music playing. And it's the same exact music every single day. And I don't know what it does, but it really helps these kids to just like get into the routine. They sit down at their like assigned table and they start doing their morning work. Now, my first year, if you guys have been following me for a while, like you would have seen that usually I would like take out a piece of paper that was my morning work and I would put it on the table like every single day. Now, first of all, that created a lot of work for me to like need to find their morning work every morning and print and make copies of it like every week. When I got to the school that I work at now, they had it already bound together in like a little spiral with all their morning work for one semester. This is brilliant and I don't know why I didn't think of this my like first year teaching now. I don't know exactly how they do the spiral thing, but it was something that like the school does. I'm sure that you can figure out a way to do this or you can even just like staple it together in a little book or like have a laminated front and back. Something to all have it, like this is something you can prep before the beginning of the school year. And then the kids have this morning work, they keep it inside their desk. You can also get little like um, thing pockets like for the back of their chairs and they keep it with them. And so you as the teacher don't have to continuously like construction if you can hear the construction I'm so sorry but you as the teacher you don't have to always be like pulling out their morning work every morning and putting it on their tables it's like a waste of time honestly so if you have it already prepped and like bound into a spiral notebook it is so 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 helpful and like I said the kids just like keep it in their desk they take it out they sit down and they get started now when my kids finish their work I have them like raise their hand and then I come by with one of those really cute like Mr. K Mr. Sketch smelly markers and I put like a heart on it if it's complete and I can quickly like fix something if it needs to be fixed and give them some feedback right away. Um, at the beginning of the year you definitely are going to have to help them with like every little thing like okay like your name goes here but as it gets towards the end of the year I could use that time to like pull certain students that I wanted to work on sight words with or really anything like that. So now I want to show you guys like what the inside this was for our second semester. I don't think I have one from the first semester, but I want to show you like what the work looks like on the inside and really like you can use whatever you want if your school has a specific curriculum for it. I just think that it's the most brilliant idea to all put it together into one little book. Whoever is morning work, they can like color and kind of decorate the front. You can make the front whatever you want, like you could design it on Canva. Um, it has a math page of counting. It has um, some read, find, and color. This is, like I said, second semester. So like subtraction practice, they cross out the ones that are 
that they're subtracting. Then there's a little A to Z, like saying the beginning sounds, circling them. Um, this one is a little bit more complicated and sometimes kids need help, but usually they sh they're grouped. So usually I have my kids, the way I have them grouped at their tables, you won't know this like first day of school, but like have them in their group with one person who is high, a medium, a low, and also like behavior wise, so that they can lean on each other and help each other instead of the teacher going and helping each student. Like I was always at like, ask your friend before you ask me, did you ask your friend? And then they'll ask their friend and then they realize that like, someone at their table should be able to complete the work um, and help them. And you also have to teach kindergartners though how to help each other instead of just like writing down the answer for them or like copying it for them. But anyways, um, here are a couple more examples. There's like fill in the missing numbers. You can really do whatever you want with this. But like I said, like just having it all in one notebook is so, 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 so helpful just to like make your life easier as the teacher and just like it's just it's it's brilliant and it's one of my favorite things that i learned at the school that i'm currently teaching at but if you have other questions about morning work i don't really know or if you want me to go in depth about something else kind of like i how i'm doing with this video please let me know leave a comment below for questions that you have i obviously am still like a newish teacher so i'll share what i know but i really do not know everything if you have recommendations for morning work i know that some people do like morning stem bins but I don't do that or well the school the school doesn't do that and I really liked the way that the morning work was like all bound together in one book but yes let me know if you have questions and if you did like this video please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more and I will talk to you guys in my next video